Hey guys, BigSquareRoadRooter.com. Let's talk Bitcoin rigor. Ex-CFTC chairman, Christian Carlo. Some people are calling him Crypto Dad for some reason. What kind of father tells her daughter, <laughs> your daughter comes to him, this true story, says, hey, I'm investing in Bitcoin. He goes to Trump and the Trump administration said, this Bitcoin thing is getting out of control. Let's pop the bubble. Or maybe it was Mnuchin said, we need to pop the bubble. Any way you slice it, he popped the bubble. Trump administration popped the 2017 Bitcoin bubble, ex-CFTC chair says. Trump administration acted to deflate the Bitcoin bubble in 2017 by allowing the introduction of futures products, a former U.S. official said. False liquidity. Futures, options, any derivative of Bitcoin is false liquidity. 21 million should be the maximum liquidity in any market related to Bitcoin. 21 million. That's how many coins will be created. That's how many coins should be traded. Yes, I know. Well, that's not, that's naive of you, Bix. That's not the way the financial works, the financial world works these days. I know that. That's what I'm fighting. The financial world is fraud. All aspects of financial products, these products. These days is fraud. Now, I don't want to get Bitcoin to get sucked down the rabbit hole when these banks go down, which is soon. So here's what's going on. Former regulator known as Crypto Dad to launch a digital dollar think tank. U.S. risk losing advantages it enjoys from having the dominant global currency. Why don't you do something like rein in the Fed? Why don't you do something like end the Fed and have the Treasury deal with the U.S. dollar. Because people are still in charge of that bullshit. I'll guarantee you, Chris Giancarlo, if the Fed, if the U.S. government ever adopted a blockchain-type U.S. dollar, it would not be immutable. It would not be limited in quantity. It would be totally and completely centralized. That's why it doesn't work. It's a centralization, the power of centralization, just like the Fed has the power of centralization now with the MDAC fiat system. A former top American regulator dubbed Crypto Dad for his embrace of cryptocurrencies is setting up a think tank to promote the idea of, the, of digitizing the U.S. dollar. First of all, the U.S. dollar already is digitized in the form of everything in done in the electronic monetary system now. That's where the vast majority of transactions happen on the electronic side. So it's digitized. The question is, Giancarlo wants to put on a blockchain. Just putting on a blockchain doesn't mean shit. A blockchain is a ledger. That's all it is. It's the protocol around the blockchain. Is it immutable? Meaning, can it be changed? Does it have fixed supply? Who is in charge? Is it centralized? Christian Carlo. Oh, by the way, <laughs> those of you investing in Divi, um, a completely centralized cryptocurrency, how could that be a currency? Who will be the sellers of Divi? Everybody. Who will be the buyers? Nobody. It's got no use case. Use case as a cryptocurrency of a centralized cryptocurrency won't work. Who's going to be selling? Everybody who starts up a node on their phone. Everybody will be selling. There will be 5 billion Divi coins printed in ten, with, within 8 more years. When it came out, it was uh, about half a, a, half a billion Divi coins. The first year, half a billion more came on. Bunch of sellers. Second year, half a billion more came on. Bunch of sellers. We're at 1.5 billion and moving, and everybody wants to sell Divi. Nobody wants to use it because there's no use case for it. If there's something else that Divi could be used for, please tell me. Let me know. If it's a cryptocurrency, good freaking luck. A centralized cryptocurrency with massive inflation and the unparalleled selling pressure that's going to come on Divi because everybody's a seller. Everybody who puts a note on their phone wants to sell their Divi. Who are the buyers? 
Atomic swaps require a buyer at the other end, somebody to enter into that swap. Somebody has to take the Divi for Litecoin. Atomic swaps in Divi will be ridiculous. Can you imagine the selling pressure on Divi? I'm, I'm getting this close to saying it's a fraud. This close. But I like the people involved with Bitcoin Bin. And I don't know the Divi guys. Tell me, tell me how there is not massive selling pressure in Divi. Like a massive. Five billion Divi coins in 10 years with no potential buyers. The only people buying Divi are the people starting a node who want to sell Divi. It's insane. And then over time, the nodes aren't as profitable. Even nobody will be buying a node. Then there's nobody to buy Divi. I'm just saying. It's it's gotten to the point where people are saying, oh, I love Divi because I, I get to sell Divi on my node. I'm like, holy moly. Come on, people. What is the use case? What is what it will be used for? If it's a cryptocurrency, you can't have a, a centralized cryptocurrency where the majority, the vast majority of tokens out there are owned by the Divi Corporation. A couple guys who invented cryptocurrency said, hey, this is a good idea, who have no idea about monetary policy. No idea ab about what makes a good currency. Scarcity. It's all about scarcity. So that's my take. Five billion, within the next 10, ten years, five billion uh, Divi tokens will be created. All of them will look to be sold, and there are no buyers. The only buyers would be people wanting to start a node to sell. I know I'm going to take shit from this from Bitcoin Ben, but I don't want people to, to walk into these things blind. If I'm wrong, if there is a use case other than a cryptocurrency, obviously a cryptocurrency should not be centralized and will be regulated by the U.S. Fed. I don't think they're domiciled in the U.S. either. I don't know. Uh, and then there's talk of a bank. They're they're getting in buying a bank. Oh my God! <laughs> the banking system going down. It's kind of like uh, XRP. The banking system go down. XRP's gone. And these guys own the most op own the huge majority of the Divi is the people who control the company, obviously. And what happened? What happened, Ben, to that that mantra of yours? It requires energy to create money, a currency. I, mean, I can go back and get all the videos. <laughs> I'm going off topic, but it's been just gnawing at me because I don't want to poo-poo on, on something that's good, but I don't want people walking into something that has nothing but selling pressure and no buying pressure with no use case. There is no use case for the Divi token. The use case is to buy a node. That's not much of a use case because the only reason to buy a node is to s get Divi to sell. <laughs> I, sorry, I keep going round and round on this. And, and if the Divi guys want to come on my show and talk about and discuss this, I would be happy to. I would be happy to. But you probably don't want to because the obvious thing is scarcity. And they seem to think it's no big deal. You know, when I, If I hear them say again that, oh, we want a lot of coins out there. So people you use it as money. <laughs> they don't understand the concept of money. It's all about scarcity. Five billion Divi coins are five billion Divi sales with no use case means no buyers. Yeah. Moving on, Chris Giancarlo. Kind of the same thing. Centralized blockchains don't work. And this would be a centralized blockchain. I guess it would be better than the current U.S. dollar, but you know, better than crap is what? Less, a little less than crap. I don't know. Not a fan of Christian Carlo ever since he admitted that him and Trump and Mnuchin and Cohen popped the Bitcoin bubble. And listen to what he said. One of the untold stories of the past few years is that the CFTC, the Treasury, the SEC. Director at the time, Gary Cohen, believed that the launch of Bitcoin futures 
would have an impact of popping the Bitcoin bubble, and it worked. Congratulations. We saw a bubble building, and we thought the best way to address it was to allow the market to interact with it. What market? The market for Bitcoin or the market for Bitcoin derivatives to control something that is massively undervalued? If you don't have that derivative, then all, you ha all you've got are believers, and it's a believer market. What is wrong with people who believe in something, well, for you and the U.S. government, absolutely. You don't want believers in truth and honesty. You want them to believe in you. The CFTC staff handled it strictly on protocol grounds, procedural grounds. But at the leadership level, I communicated with U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, NEC Director Gary Cohen, and we believe that should Bitcoin futures go forward, it would allow institutional money to bring discipline to the value of the cash market. And that's exactly what happened. The cash market. <laughs> You're a freaking criminal, Mr. Giancarlo. I'm sorry. You just don't understand it. You probably have good intentions to keep the system within control. What you have is a massively undervalued asset that can take the place of the U.S. dollar, and that's what scared you. Adding derivatives to control price is exactly what gold, silver has been dealing with for over 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, since the invention of the Fed. It's time to end the control. Who are these criminal regulators who think they should control what the free market does? They should all go to jail. Anyway, uh, check out the private road. Trump will silver skewer Jamie Dimon today. They're meeting right now, as a matter of fact. Can you imagine the blackmail that Trump's going to lay down on him? Here's your deal, Jamie. And they're both, you know, type A, alpha male, ridiculous humans. Here's the deal, Jamie. I made your earnings this year. It was all me. So here's what you're going to do for me. You're going to keep rigging the silver market. Or I'm going to blow this whole thing. I'm going to I'm gonna file these RICO charges against your whole company and name the company. Instead of Company A at the DOJ, we're going to say it was J.P. Morgan. Although everybody already knows. And we'll see if Jamie Dimon bends. He probably will bend originally and then behind the scenes tell his other banker buddies, all right, we're going to take down Trump by crashing the economy. Woo! I'm on a roll. Look out. Big swear. Talk to you later.